Hey fam, what's up? It's April here. Today I'm going to share with you my TBR for the Around the World Athon. Kirsty from Melbourne on My Mind and I created this readathon, and every six months we are picking a part of the world and we're reading books written by authors from those places and books set in those places. So this round will take place from the 21st to the 27th of November and we're focusing on Oceania. And there are approximately like 20 countries and places in Oceania so obviously the majority of us won't be reading 20 books in one week so I've picked a total of eight books from eight different places um, and I do have a book from each place in Oceania I'm just not going to read all of them but I will leave them all down in the description in case you need any ideas but anyway let's get to it the first is Australia which is where Kirsty and I are from and I'm going to be reading Follow the Rabbit Proof Fence by Doris Pilkington also known as Nugi Gadamara and this is a true account about Doris's mother and her sisters um, as they were taken as part of the stolen generation and escaped and it's their way back home um, I remember watching the movie for this when I was younger and absolutely bawling my eyes out um, so I just know this is going to be hard hitting and very powerful and it's a very very famous indigenous Australian piece of work so I'm really excited to finally read this one. Then we have New Zealand and I'm reading The Whale Rider by Witi Ihimaira who is a Maori man um, who lives in New Zealand and this follows a Maori tribe. That's all I really know um, but I've heard really really great things about this one and I can't wait to read it. Then we have Nauru and I'm reading The Undesirables by Mark Isaacs. Mark actually spent time in Nauru and he spent time inside the detention center and he witnessed some absolutely shocking things that he felt like people needed to know about um, the treatment of the asylum seekers and refugees there. So he's actually coming out with a new book it might be out already, but I really want to get to his books and just learn more about this topic. Next we have Papua New Guinea and I'm reading New Guinea Moon by Kate Constable. Um, Kate is an Australian author and this is a YA novel all about a girl who goes to live with a father she doesn't know in Papua New Guinea. Um, that's all I really know, but Kate Constable is a very highly praised Australian author, especially a children's author. So I'm excited to see what this one brings. Then I have Devil Devil by G.W. Kent. Um, this takes place in the Solomon Islands in the 1960s and it follows a police officer. And I believe it's a crime novel. The author actually spent eight years in the Solomon Islands. He's a consultant for the South Pacific Commission and Educational Broadcasting. That sounds important. The last physical book I have to show you is a massive one. Um, it is Pacific by Judy Nunn. Judy Nunn is another Australian author. I've divided it up into seven sections, hoping to read one section a day. But what really drew me to this novel is that it's set in Vanuatu, which is a place I've actually been before. Um, but it's also a dual timeline story. So half of the book takes place during World War II in the South Pacific. And I just think this will be really, really interesting. It also follows an Australian actress who was filming for a film in Vanuatu as well. It just seems like a really interesting book and Judy Nunn is really, really popular. So I thought I'd give this one a go. The last two books that I plan to read haven't arrived yet. I actually ordered them off, off thrift books. The first one is Tales of the Taikongs by Apelli Hayolfa and this one takes place in Tonga and it's written by an author whose parents are both Tongan and she spent some time living in Tonga, Papua New Guinea and Fiji. I believe this is a collection of short stories. I'm not exactly sure, but it's only 93 pages and it sounded really interesting to me. The last book is another non-fiction read. It's called One Square Mile of Hell by John Wukovitz and it chronicles the huge Battle of Tarawa in Kiribati. Um, and the author is actually an American military historian. Um, and I've never really read anything about World War II taking place in the South Pacific. So I just feel like this would be really interesting. And since it's a nonfiction, it will be something that I can learn a lot from. Like I said, there's around 10 other places to read from and I sourced out some books from each of those places. So I will leave them down below if you want to read from anywhere else. 
but yeah this is my tbr for the week i am so excited let me know if you guys are joining in and feel free to use the hashtag around the worldathon on all social media and if you've done a tbr um, leave the link to it down below even if it's a picture on twitter or instagram or your book blog i'd love to see it and i will see you soon with a new video goodbye